Okay, I thought I would uh, just shoot a video. Maybe this will be a good starting point. Um, what this is for is to show you around the dashboard the significance of each piece on the dashboard. And then I'm going to take you through the beginnings of putting up a page and editing page content. Um, so to start with, obviously, this is the dashboard. You can tell by the big dashboard word up here. <laughs> Um, at a glance, 26 posts, 50 pages. So you go through this menu bar over here, post, these are blog posts. You'll get a nice little drop out or a pop out menu, all posts, add new categories, tags, only work with the, with the post and add new. Don't mess with categories or tags unless we talk about it. That's a really, those are two really important pieces. So you don't want to go, um, like changing things in there without uh, having some uh, counsel on it. Media is just the pictures uh, or videos that you have in the library. So you have to upload pictures to this library to then use in WordPress, uh, any, any of your pages or your um, blog post. Now, uh, there is a really nice uh, image editing function inside of WordPress, but I'll go over that on another video. I'm not going to go through that today. So pages are obviously your web pages. And uh, when you create these, I'll go through a little bit of that here in a few minutes, but it's really important to parent those under the right hierarchy. You want to put them under the right categories. Comments is for moderating comments. Uh, we can go on that, go over that for another time. Uh, portfolio and FAQs, that's more about the theme and, and uh, what uh, what it needs and everything like that. Um, the contact, the appearance, this is a big one because this is where you get into widgets and menus. Widgets are uh, the parts that have like the footer and the sidebars and things like that. The menus are the top line navigation. Header, uh, really don't ever mess with that because if you if you play with the code of the header, you uh, dynamically affect everything on the site by one small change. You can change one literal character of code and uh, destroy all the SEO work. So don't ever mess with the header. Uh, don't really get into theme options. Sidebars are fine. Um, I'd be surprised if you uh, uh, have the knowledge at this point to affect anything on a slider. So it's probably better to let uh, us handle that side of it if you want things in the sidebar. Uh, sidebars tend to propagate across the site. So you want to be real careful how you use that because when you drop something in a sidebar, maybe for one page, maybe it's not appropriate for all the pages. So you have to be real careful how you do that. Um, install plugins. Again, I would, I would uh, check with us before you ever install a plugin. Plugins crash WordPress sites all the time because people don't understand how to configure them so that they work well with both the theme itself and the other plugins. So as you get down through here, uh, you go then to plugins. That'll take you directly to the plugins that are there. Uh, this little alert will tell you if things need to be updated. We do have a couple that need to be updated and we're taking care of that. Uh, add new editor, all that good stuff. So you can search for new plugins. You can manage your current plugins, all that good stuff. This will get you into users. This is where your information um, is stored. And you can go in and edit that profile. If you want to change your password, you need to make sure your password is reasonably difficult. Uh, I, I believe that I made one that was reasonably difficult. For, uh, I know I make them for myself uh, where they have characters, uppercase, lowercase, uh, characters that are out of the norm, so they're not easy to predict. Um, tools, that's another entire video settings is another video. This is an important one, but one I wouldn't mess with, uh, changing things that are current. So this is a very, very, uh, dynamic tool. This is Yoast SEO plugin. And, um, it is, uh, widely regarded as the best SEO tool for WordPress sites out there. Um, you can go into titles and metas across the entire site. You can mess with your social 
stuff. XML sitemaps is supported on here. You can mess with permalinks, although that is a very, very important and easily screwed up uh, a, uh, aspect of Yoast and WordPress. So I wouldn't mess with permalinks a lot. I wouldn't mess with internal links a lot. Don't mess with RSS. RSS is all but dead anyway. Google's kind of killed it. Um, the rest of these are just stuff I wouldn't mess with. Uh, the biggest thing you want to mess with in, Yo in Yoast is on the page itself. And I'll show you that here in just a second when we get into that. Um, anytime you're dealing with uh, a theme, then the theme itself is going to have its own sliders and things. That's probably several videos. So if you need slider stuff added, I think we're going with a dynamic page right now. If you need sliders added, just contact us. We'll take care of that. Um, so now let's get into uh, pages. I'm going to show you how to create a new page. You can go add new here. You can go add new here. See, this will give you page, media, slider, portfolio, FAQ, all kinds of good stuff. But there's all kinds of different ways. They all do the very same thing. So if I go here to create a new page, it's going to drop me into this blank uh, kind of setup. So I'm going to skip ahead to a page that I was already working on. I just dragged and dropped um, uh, material into this page. So this was all uh, just regular text, and I did a little bit of editing. But I'm going to walk you through several things you need to understand when creating a page. Um, this is uh, all based out of this little area here. When you click this, this opens up into uh, these headings and paragraph. That pre, I'm not actually familiar with. I'll have to check that out. Uh, this is a different theme, so don't worry about pre and don't use it for now because I don't know exactly what it does. The, probably the biggest thing you need to be sure that you don't do is never use an H1 tag. These, When you ever hear anybody talk about H tags, H1, H2, H3 tags, it's heading tags. So this is H1, H2, H3, H4. Don't ever use another H1 down in here because the title in WordPress, the, this right here is already an H1 tag and you don't want more than one H1 tag on a page. So I took this, um, treated this kind of like a subtitle. We have the title up here, then here's a subtitle and use the H2 tag on this one. So it gives uh, the people a bigger, uh, font size to look at, but also Google search engines will um, pick this up and OneNote, Master, and all that good stuff. So then I bullet pointed, I split some stuff out into bullet point to make it a little more readable. Uh, then a little teaser sentence in here. I was debating on whether to uh, uh, use this. See, this is in paragraph, and as this is up here also. But I think I'm going to go ahead and step this up to an H4. Um, yeah, so that's going to make that pop a little bit more. And this is paragraph and you'll see I'm bolding the first, you kind of just play this by ear and the more you do it, the more you used to it. But, um, what I do is generally just bold, uh, the first sentence ish element down to a comma or a, or some kind of. Uh, punctuation or just a whole thought. Then I took this and made this H2. Just dropped in a sign up today. And then right, uh, I probably am going to make this a link to the other page that we had. Um, but this is also a paragraph. And to make this stand out, I kind of disobeyed one of my cardinal rules, which I did not bold this entire line. I just bolded the Red, Red Cape Online Bootcamp, and then Vicky's name. So those two things stand out a little bit better. I embedded a YouTube video here, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, let's see. I'll go ahead and do that inside of this video. It's, a, it's pretty easy. It's not too hard, but um, I... You, there are ways to mess it up, but not. it's pretty much uh, bulletproof. So you click the share, then it'll give you an embed code. 
So then you d double or triple click, whatever it takes to highlight this entire section. Pick it up with Control C or um, whatever is working for you. Let's drop it in this other new page we started. I'm just going to, uh, you need to use text because this is code. Uh, there's two parts of the editor. There's visual and there's text. Visual gives you a visual representation that's close to what you're going to get on the page. Keep in mind that it is not, so you have to use this preview tag. I'll show that to you in a second. But anytime you're doing anything with code, if you're dropping in media or anything like that, you need to do it on the text side. So it does it from the code side. So I'm going to drop in, let's see. Okay, so I'm going to show you um, how this works. I'm going to drop in this. Now let's preview this page. So you can see the YouTube video here uh, dropped in right below the random text. And it just, the whole video is there. You can play it in the page. That's the beautiful thing about embedding is that you're able to use the page on, I mean, the video on the page and it doesn't leave it. There's all kinds of options. You can choose not to uh, have this when you see the embed come up. You can go show more. And this gives you show suggested videos when the video finishes. I usually leave this unchecked. That way other videos don't come up. Show player controls. I don't do that. Show video title and player actions. We don't really need that on this one. So I'm going to drop that off there. And now you see it's a nice, clean looking, looking video. And uh, that I also get a little more control. I get to have uh, my own title above and or below the video. So that gives me a little more control over what people are thinking when they're looking at the video. And I'm always all about that because it gives you a better uh, sales process experience. Um, so you can see here, we've got this video dropped in here already. And uh, let's preview this real fast. So what the preview does is it gives you a pane to go look at. You're gonna look at the page the way it, it's gonna look. This is the way it looks. Now, one of the things you'll notice is there is not a page break between this part of the paragraph and this sign up today. I have done the things I normally do to affect that, to cause that to happen, but it's not working correctly. There's also no space between here and the video. So that's in the hopper as things to be done. Uh, so don't, I don't like the way that looks, so it's being taken care of. Um, there's also, there will also be a page break here with a title over the video, and I'll remove this like I just said. Uh, but you can see now how this breaks it up a little bit better. Uh, here's the original landing page. You can see how all this is just one block. And on my page, it is now broken up to be a little more visually uh, engaging. We're going to raise font size one notch across the side also. So there's bolding, there's bolding of first line, there's raising of the uh, paragraph up to H tag status. Uh, all this breaks it up, makes it much more engaging. Uh, it needs a little more work, but I'm, I'm just, the point here is just to show you how to build the page. Now let's go over this dashboard up here uh, very quickly. You're probably going to recognize all this if you're used to working with Word, but I'm just going to walk through it very quickly. Obviously bold, italic, and line through, strike through. Uh, I don't know why WordPress loves that so much. I would have something else up there. I don't, I can't remember. I can't bring to mind any time I've ever seen anything use a strike through on it. Uh, so then the bullets, numbers, this is the block quote, which is a, a nice thing to use. People don't use it enough, but it, it's a good tool to use. Uh, just a horizontal line in the post if you want that. This is justifying left, center, and right links. Remove the link. That's that's an important thing. Um, insert read more tag. This allows you to have this. Some people call this, old WordPress people are going to call this a kitchen sink uh, bar, but they call it a toggle now. So it just opens up this whole second section. 
So if you ever open a page and you're trying to work with it and you're wondering where the rest of your edit tools went, that's where they went. Um, underline, underline just fine, text color, uh, paste as text. This is useful if you are copying in from Word and you have issues, try clicking this. Uh, clear all formatting, special characters, your indent sets, undo, really nice tool. So it's all pretty straightforward, pretty, pretty self-explanatory. If you wanted to drop a picture in, I'm going to try this real fast. And we're, remember, I told you, if you're ever dropping media in, you want to use the text section. So the way I like to do it is to create a couple of lines of white space. Then I'm going to go to the media library, see what we've got in storage here. Um, let's grab an image here. Describe Vicky's image here. So I told you I would go through the image editor later, but I'm going to go ahead and just do it really fast. Uh, I'm going to give it the title. You notice that title that was there. Let's get off of that and go back so that it'll show you that ugly title. Well, it's actually gone. Okay. So it already, but you saw that was, it was Vicky dash Evans dot MP two or something like that. You want a nice clean title because a lot of times, Google is going to uh, use this in their um, in their uh, indexing function. It's not as big a deal as the alt text. The alt text is everything. So for this, I'm going to use um, So you'll notice I did not put a comma here. The reason that is, is because Google looks at keywords as comma separated, if you will. So every time you put any punctuation in here, it's going to separate it. So if I put Vicki Evans comma Microsoft Office Trainer, then it's going to separate that into two separate keywords. In this case, I don't want it to. This is not going to display. Nobody's going to see this. So you're talking to search bots, not people. That's an important distinction. So. Vicki Evans, Microsoft Office Trainer, um, let's say one, we're going to align right, well, link to me if I, this is fine, so now we're going to drop this into the page. So you'll see that because you're in text, you're in the code, this is not a picture, but a block of code. And as just a little bit of an insight into the Google world, this is what Google sees when it looks at images. Now, they're getting better about recognizing the actual image through different software. But as far as a search bot, this is what a search bot has always seen. And you'll see in here, the, here's the, the alt, that's the alt text. Um, and that's what we're putting in here. So let's go back to visual. Now you'll see this. Now here's a nice function. That was full size. You'll remember by the, by the, by the uh, editor, it said full size, but check this out. I can resize the image to make it bigger. And I want it to be bigger. I need to vector that. So now let's preview it. Let's see what we're working with. Now you'll notice up here in the tabs, it didn't open another new tab. It's going to refresh the other tab that I had in here. That's not bad. That's not bad. We're going to have a sidebar and that's going to move this in and block all this up a little bit nicer. So that should work nicely. Um, let's make this a link. Now what I want to do is I'm going to link this to our actual Infusionsoft landing page. This way I'm not recreating the wheel here. I'm just going to uh, point people Now the title, the reason a title is important on this link is when people mouse over it um, it's going to pop this up. That's why I've got the exclamation point on it. This is a little tweak on user experience. By the time they're clicking sign up, I want them to be in a good frame of mind 
So I'm going to put that exclamation point on the end of it just to give them that, that little extra bit of juice. You know, open link in new window tab. This is one of the bigger mistakes that people make on their websites. All most things that you click should open in a different tab because I want that original page to stay open. Okay. So we're going to add this link. It's in there. Now, this is the one. What I notice is though this is H4, it didn't bold up. You'll see, this is one of the things I told you, this window gives you a picture of close to what it looks like on the page. This is one of the places where it's not quite the same. This is bolder than this text down here, but in on the page itself, you'll see that it's not bolder. So see, this looked just like this text with a little bit different font. We need to change that, that doesn't look like Arial. So I'm going to I'm going to bold this. Now let's preview and see if it took it. It did not. So the 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 way the the H tags are set up, they do not take bold um, bolding. That's something to fix. I'm going to put that in the hopper to get that fixed. So that will be fixed. Uh, but as it is, this is where I'm going to stop right now because I need to, I need uh, feedback from you guys anyway. But this really is about how to build a page. So if you have any other questions, feel free to ask, and uh, I'm always here to help.